What is going on, y'all? It is Far Gas here. Hopefully, you're having a great and wonderful day out there in the wasteland. Friends, it's October the 1st. It's a Tuesday. You know what that means. It means that spooky month is here. And, well, yeah, the Atomic Shop has an update. And we can get in here and see what they have in the update. But look, the wife and I got married in October. This is my favorite month of the year. This is my favorite time. It's cooling down in Georgia. I absolutely love that. Also, also, the camp building contest contest for this month is going to be in the description below as far as the Bethesda one. They actually just announced that today. So more information in the description below if you are looking into that sort of thing. But let's see. We've got a Halloween weather station. Now I will have to wait and see what this looks like at Tonic's video when they release it. But I don't know. For 1200 is it like... Is it like orange or is that just like a nighttime, like spooky time or something like, I don't know. Like we'll have to, we'll have to see how that looks, you know, depending on if Tonic buys it. Uh, I'll have a link down in the description below to his video or if while I am doing my dailies and such, if I can find somebody that has one, I'll look at it. But I don't know. That's $12. I don't know about that. Um, now looking at this, ooh, a prank roach, jack of light candles. I don't really recognize this one items in here. Mr. Bony Plushie, Trick or Treat Wall Sign, Jacko Light Candles, The Prank Roach, The Games Cupboard, The Ghost Scarecrow, and The Mothman Cultist Bed. Now, uh, that, that cultist bed, wasn't that a scoreboard item? Oh, I can't remember, but this stuff actually now looks kind of familiar, but I don't, I don't recognize the the prank rad roach and these little jacko like candles, but I absolutely love the look of them. And now as far as this game's cupboard, is that a stash? Or is it just just a just a place where it can like hoard board games? Or I don't know. But let me know in the comment section below. Did you pick that up? I like like I said, I'm very reserved on what I'm picking up. The spooky night costume bundle. These were previously available. Um, they've been put into a bundle. Let's see, the Mr. Fuzzy Power... Oh! Hey. Hello. Guess what? Guess what? You have been tagging Bethesda in every single post about this. Are you happy? Are you picking this up? You know exactly who I'm talking to right now. Every single video, there has been a user that has been asking for the Mr. Fuzzy PA Helmet Head Let's absolutely go. I do believe, look, I can't guarantee you, I can't, I can't verify or deny this, but y'all, I think Bethesda and 011 watches the comments around the Atomic Shop and the limited time offers when content creators ask you what you would like. I'm just saying, it seems that sometimes, it seems that some things that are in the comment section seem to make their way into these Atomic Shop bundles or even into the limited time offer. And then we got a bunch of the Danger of Death sign, the Warning Alligator, and the... Wait, hold on a second. Danger of Death sign, the Warning Alligator. I saw three. Uh, do do not touch my stuff. I'm missing that sign. But the Barbecue uh, Pit Boss outfit, the headwear... Oh, there it is. Don't touch my st stuff sign. The Grafton Monster Mascot outfit and the Spiketed Barricade. Now, I do like the... Look at that barricade. That's actually a cool-looking barricade. Oh, it sucks to have to be responsible and not spend money in a video game because you're buying a house. Oh, my Lanta. And I'm not going back over all this. Come back to last week if you want me to go through all this. I'm not going through all this again. There's a lot of stuff in here. That was like, I opened, I opened this up and I'm like, oh, I see what someone in the Discord had said about, oh, my Lanta, every amount of bundles in that week. But yeah, there's a lot of great bundles in here. And even in that Spook Night one, you know, the outfits and everything with the PA uh, head and stuff like that. It's a really nice one. Um, the Enclave Armor Bundle for 1050 The That's my loot. That's mine loot bag. The Enclave Screaming. Oh, a Screaming Eagle paint. The uh, Enclave Scout Armor paint. The model of the Atom. The, oh, I do like the model of the Atom. That actually stacks really well. Um, the Scout Armor paint. The model of the... Oh, I just said model of the item. Uh, Enclave uh, Combat Armor paint. The Enclave Marine Armor paint. And the Enclave Secret Service. I do like it. I do like it. I do like it. And I do have a guess. But I'm not going to say that guess. But you should know. You should have known by now. Uh, 1400 Root Cellar. 
I do. Oh my God, yes. The root cellar. I was thinking about it. I had a brain fart. I absolutely love this shelter. Probably my second favorite shelter. Uh, yeah. Yeah. I like I like the outside, this one, and then the sound stage. That's my three. That's my top three. What's your favorite uh, shelters that you've been into? Like, which, which ones do you like? But I really do like this coffin, the animation that opens up on it. But you got the uh, worm farm. Oh, that's really cool. I think that's acid, right? I think that's acid. But the worm farm, root cellar shelter, coffin stash box, light vines, the uh, heavy vines, the ritual uh, votive stand. Oh, that thing's actually really cool. Yeah, the thing on the top right. It looks really cool. Yeah. I mean, 1400 that's, that's, a, that's a hell of a deal. I'm going to be real because that shelter, I think, I think that shelter was like 12, 1400 uh, by itself. Um, so if you've been looking for something like that, there you go. Uh, rustic Barbershop Bundle for 1050 The Barbershop Pole Light Barbershop Barber's Chair. Open and close. Same Mr. Uh, Rocket Kitty Ride. The vault Locker B. The Checkered Circles Linoleum Floor and Foundations. And the Mr. Fuzzy Kitty Ride with the white wallpaper. Okay. Absolutely positively. Look, if you're into that sort of thing, um, those are pretty cool. Like, the, the vault Lockers are really cool. I do like the look of a lot of this stuff. Um... And I think I did pick it up in the close shave bundle when it was out. The samurai paint really does look cool. It's a it's a really cool looking paint. The root and tape and outfit. Hey, they will go for four hundred. Um, the wicker basket stash for three fifty. The brambles for one seventy five. The denim suit for three hundred. And the silver shroud paint for three fifty. That's just like in the comic books. We've been playing Fallout Four as Sim Settlements too. And there's a spot in there. Well, we were just walking around in silver shroud outfit. Let's just be real. I love that thing. But yeah, this is the uh, home of the future. We got six days left in it, and then we've got six more days left in the uh, like companions and kind of like school board kind of catch up uh, bundles in there. Then for the free uh, item for the week, we have the perk card packs. The item for the day is a free supply package level two. Ooh, let's go. The happy to see you emote. Heck yeah, for 150 So we'll have to check and see what the limited time offers are inside of Bethesda if that is out yet. And we'll get that uh, working tonight when we get home. The uh, A&D vendor bond for 350 for Fallout First members for this week. Fallout First members also get 25% off of the snack shack bundle for eleven twenty five. Uh let's see. Uh and that does come with uh pretty much okay, it comes with everything that it did once have oh the pepperoni <laughs> the pepperoni ride is back in there. There was so many little funny things at people's camps. Oh my god. There was there was look, remember, kill laugh love out there in the wasteland, right guys? Kill laugh love. <laughs> but it looks like Fallout First members have a new dinosaur, the Pterosaurus. For Fallout First members, hey, look, I'm going to be real with you. I like my Brontosaurus. I like all my stuff. I am absolutely down with it. We still got a little bit of the catch-ups. This is still number 12. Um, that was, yeah. Yeah, 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 yeah. That's, that's the same one. The Morbid Well, Standing Skull Storch, um, the Spark Plugs hairstyle. That Spark Plugs is kind of funny. Uh, it's kind of funny, you know. Think about it. Think about it as far as, like, the scent thing uh, in the Fallout series. But, yeah, let me know in the comment section below if Bethesda or 11 got you for any atoms this week. Thank you all so much for taking time out of your busy day to check this video out. If you hadn't seen the video where we go over the news for this week, make sure to check out that video right here. Thanks so much to the channel members for the continued support. Y'all have a great, wonderful day out there in the wasteland. Peace. Love you.